What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today, if you can see, we are in the shed. Uh, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do some upgrades to this shed. So about a year ago, built this shed. Uh, it was on sale through Home Depot for about $600. And then with the base and everything, we figured we built it for about 1100 in total. And it's been a great addition to the yard. Uh, so I can keep my bikes going keep somewhere to store them and then also be able to put all of our camping and miscellaneous other junk in here like every other good shed is for. But the difference between every other shed and mine is that I end up actually working in it quite often. Uh, I live in a mobile home so with being a trailer home you don't have much space to work in. Last winter I worked on my bikes inside the house. It worked but it wasn't the greatest. Uh, this winter it's been mild enough most weeks that I can work on certain things. So one thing I want to do is when I have the doors open and sunny, uh, I can see okay, but I want to be able to work in here with the door closed when it is really cold um, and try to keep some of that wind out. So I got some LED lights. And what we're going to do is we're going to put these LED strip lights uh, in the roof. They're encapsulated and my, uh, my buddy from work, he hooked me up. He got me few of these to put in so we're gonna see how well they work and uh, in typical butchered fashion we're gonna try to do it on the low low with uh, some that I think is gonna work good but we'll see I might be wrong so what I'm thinking I got a roll of wire here I know if I was doing this properly I should get different color coated wire uh, but what I'm gonna do is these encapsulate strips I'm going to put I'm thinking one there one there just in the middle try to get some light coming down or maybe i will stagger them and do two on each side but we'll see what i think will work the best um from there i'm gonna run wires from the lights down down and i'm gonna have two ends hanging right here and my idea is that i'm gonna power it off of a Milwaukee battery so each time I want to come up to the shed and work on something use a Milwaukee battery and that way I'll have some light and also don't have to wire up anything to run off the house be rechargeable and I'm thinking it should work good I used to install grain monitoring systems in grain bins um, through the company I'm with right now and when I did that what we do to bench test everything for bin yards that didn't have power trenched in yet is we'd run a Milwaukee battery and we would power everything off of that battery to bench test all the signals and everything like that you name it and it always worked great so I'm thinking with these lights it shouldn't be any different but again I I have been wrong before and we'll see if it works so these LED strips if you can kind of see fully encapsulated they actually come with uh, clip-on mounts that way you can do is you can put the mounts wherever you want drill them in place and then these would clip over uh, but when I tried testing it they need a pretty shallow mount or bolt or whatever and what I have is just self tappers that won't really work so what I'm going to do instead is I got these holes and I'm just going to zip tie these up and then at least that way uh, if I need to move them or whatever I definitely can so I'm going to get these mounted up in place first and then we'll start wiring them. So I don't really have anywhere great to set up the camera to video in here, but skipping ahead, I zip tied up my lights right there and there. That's kind of where I figured I am the most. My bike is usually in the middle and then uh, I'm coming over to grab parts and stuff on my tool chest right here. So yeah, this is what I got. For my two ends, I have a red end, which will be my positive, blue for negative. Uh, I figured that should work good enough. I'm just going to test it right now and then going to go ahead and zip tie everything up, clean it up a little bit, make it look better. Oh, 
Oh. Nice. Okay, so as you can see, hooked up to the Milwaukee battery. Shined it right away. Nothing fizzled, nothing sparked, so that's always a bonus. Um, one thing I'll show you guys on the battery. For those of you that might not know, on the batteries they actually point out positive, negative. Just go to the far terminal for positive, far opposite side for negative. Uh, don't put them in backwards, but that's how we always test with these batteries, so that works pretty good. I'm super stoked. Those seem to work pretty good, and uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean everything up, run the wires, and I was thinking when I come out here to work on stuff, I'll just set my battery up there. I think I'll make a little tray at some point, but for now, that's what I'm going to do. So I can cut ahead and do some more uh, zip tying, get this cleaned up, and then we can close the door and see what it looks like. All I did was I ran a zip tie in there to hold the wire up. This ran up here, I pulled these tighter. This way, zip tie there, let these hang, and then I have enough play that I can pull it down, put the battery there, and in theory that should work. So I know it's not uh, it's not the prettiest, but this also isn't the prettiest shed. And you know what, for, I think my buddy said that the lights were about seven bucks each on Super Sale, so for 14 bucks, 14 bucks each, and then uh, another $12 for wire, and whatever this wiring kit originally cost, which is super cheap from Canadian Tire, you know, not a bad deal to get some lights in here. So what I'm going to do, now that I got those hooked up, and everything's where I kind of want it, is I'm going to hook up this battery, and let's see what it looks like with the door closed. Door is closed, and as you can see already, look at that, we got light. So I am super stoked on that, that looks awesome. Uh, they're actually, you know what, for $7, they are pretty damn bright. So that works awesome. I could almost put a third one over there if I would like to, and really light this place up. Like you could literally run rows and rows of this actually, and it would work pretty nice. So I am stoked on that. Now this is definitely the part where I explain that I'm not an electrician at all. Uh, I know for some of you guys that are electricians or you know better at electronics than I am, you're going to cringe at this disclaimer, I'm not. This is what I came up with for my shed setup and like I said the shed not super, uh, not super pretty in the first place. But as you can see we made the best of what we can for uh, the lowest buck, aka keeping it real butchered like normal. So this is my setup to run a Milwaukee battery. It'll be interesting to see how long these last with the 5.0 and hopefully these will also give better lighting and enhance everything for uh, future videos so the lighting isn't so crappy when I'm working in the shed. But yeah, definitely going to try to come up with some sort of tray I think. Try to keep this so it won't fall at all. Or anything like that but like I showed you guys with a Milwaukee battery it's pretty uh, pretty simple they mark out exactly what sides positive what sides negative and all you need is to get some ends some of the flat ends to crimp on and like you can do like I did everything's crimped together completely if you wanted to be a true professional you'd solder you know do it right but zip ties wire all that deal it worked great anyways uh, I'm gonna end this video on this point I know it's kind of a quickie but Hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, maybe get some insight on some more cheap ways to upgrade what you have. Thanks for watching and have a great day.